Well, I hope you're happy. I am. You are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're laughing because uh, it's like a little trick, if you will. Not really. A bit of a technique, but it's just me being me. Uh, you know, a lot of times that, that expression is, is said to somebody in some sort of uh, status, looking for some sense of satisfaction or some sort of dig. Uh, and I, I, I didn't do, use it that way at all, but I, of course I know that it's done that way. And I, and I do it to people. I say that to people. I hope you're happy. And often either they're used to it, done that old way, or they look inside themselves and they see and they look for their unhappiness and, and they go, oh my God, there's my unhappiness. And, and then they, <laughs> they, 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 they twirl out of, out of shape, you know, they, they go into the scent. Uh, it's kind of a test, but it's kind of being playful. And Tommy already is already wise to me, and not that he's not that he's not happy, but he's already wise to me. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's kind of a test, you know. So if somebody says, "I hope you're happy." I, I hope hopefully you can answer yes. Thank you. Thank you for asking. <laughs> mm -hmm. As opposed to like, yeah, well, I got reasons why I'm not happy. All right, if you had my shit, you'd be mad too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It usually implies that you did something wrong. You know? Right, right. I right. hope you're happy. And they're looking for you to defend yourself. So, you know, and yeah. you don't need to defend yourself. And it's best not to defend yourself. You know, it's only the ego that feels the need to defend, right? And, you know, yeah. the, the ego is not your amigo. And sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But if you have to defend yourself, that's, you know, that's your ego. Like when, uh, like when Jesus Christ was on trial, he didn't try to defend himself. He said, these are your charges. You know, mm. doesn't try to defend himself. Um, there's no need to defend yourself. If you have to defend yourself, consider the reasons why you feel the need to defend yourself. Right? It's, you know, sometimes it's necessary yeah. to do. Sometimes, more times than not, more often than not, it's just the ego doing what the ego wants to do, which is to attack or defend. Uh, and ego is a big part of, you know, what Tommy and I discuss and learn about especially in dealing with uh, Zen and in his own sake, uh, in just in terms of success and achievement, because it's extremely relevant. I mean, right. ego is a self-identity. By the way, if we haven't introduced ourselves, I'm Tony Petroza. I'm two thirds. No, I'm three quarters of, the, no, you know, I'm, I told Tony, I told Tommy, I'm not going to abuse him anymore. I'm Tony Petroza. I'm one tenth of this partnership. Uh, over <laughs> out, out and out of space with me is Thomas Boston. He's the mm -hmm. other 95% of this partnership. There we go. I, all right. I'm just a piece of shit. All right. Yes. Tommy's straightening me out. <laughs> I'm the mentor now. You're the mentor now. He's the guy with the big boots. Tommy and I are close friends. And we mm -hmm. do this podcast. It's about success and achievement and, and all things related, in that, and including, of course, spirituality, which is very related to those things. Uh, but with us, it's it's a big part uh, of who we are, what we talk about, and indeed this podcast. Uh, you know, uh, just this morning, uh, President Trump, now I don't know where you're listening to this, but of course, President Donald Trump is the, is the American president. And he just uh, said, sorry about that, uh, that he uh, was um, tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, along with his wife, the first lady. What? I thought, no, I'm I sorry. thought he was invulnerable. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I I I put up. I posted on one of my friends' pages on Facebook. I said that that is impossible. That that is impossible. <laughs> President Trump cannot be infected. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I made a post just a little while ago on Facebook. And I'd like to share it. And Tommy, uh, it's about karma. Because uh, um, as I just talked about, karma is the ego. And Zen is a big, major topic in, in our discussions. And karma is a very important factor or point in that. Um, and Tommy, I'm going to read this mm -hmm. post. And if you have anything yeah. to say while I'm reading it, stop me and we'll converse. All right? Okay. And we'll discuss. Okay, this is what I posted earlier. Okay, I said, I've seen a few Trump haters declare, and I listen, this is not a political uh, podcast. We're not going into politics. Politics is very divisive and polarizing. 
We don't take any right. sides in this podcast. Uh, and we don't, we are avoiding politics very specifically. That, that that's not the intention here. Is about this, this is to this make is it about important. wisdom. This is about karma. It's about karma and wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. That's what this yeah. is about. So it doesn't matter if you love or hate Trump. That's ill. That's totally irrelevant. It's about karma. Um, okay, I've seen a few Trump haters declare that it was karma, and I'm not defending the president in that, in that vein. I'm not defending him. I'm talking about karma. I don't care who people say. You know, oh, it was karma. Put it, fill in the blank. All right. Okay. That's now. I think I've covered it all. All right. Here we go. Mm. I've seen a few Trump haters declare that it was karma that got Trump since he became infected by the virus. If that were true, then everyone who was infected was only reaping their own karma. Be careful when you try to weaponize karma. You're only aiming it at yourself. Now, one mm. can argue that it is indeed karma because people have suffered and died due to Trump. But it would only be karma if he did that intentionally, which includes willful negligence. Mm. And mm -hmm. it can't be the latter because Democrats are not the only Americans. Republicans have the same fate from Trump's decisions. So it's not that. I mean, it could be karma, but not from his presidential actions regarding the virus. If Trump really believed it was that dangerous, he would have not endangered himself. None of us can ever escape karma, direct it or conclude it, not for a moment. And perhaps even the best of us might not be able to put a finger on it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I had written. I, I know that that would be a very, con that's, a, that's a loaded statement, very controversial. People that might tend to like it might dislike it because of the different parts of it. They might like karma, but they want, you know, they, they, I made it so, I made karma so indifferent to our desires that a lot, a lot of people will, will dislike that. Oh, I liked what you were saying, but then I disliked it because you made karma. <laughs> karma is not my friend. They want karma to be their ally. Yeah, it's <laughs> not. It's, yeah. Karma is not your friend. Karma is not your no. ally at all. You know, it's, uh, you could compare, you know, you know, well, I'm sorry. It's a result of what you do. It's a result of what you do. It's a very simple. A perpetual result. Yeah. Right. It's not. It's not the. It's the conclusion of something. It is constantly ongoing. Yeah. It's constantly. I, I don't. I'm. My ideas about karma are changing. Like, or my 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 beliefs, because uh, a lot of people think it's like you reap what you sow. Yeah. I mean, cause and effect is one thing, but um, I don't think it's 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 like very. It, it's that personal. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying no, no, to say. No, no, I right like now. I like I like what you're saying here. You know, just before mm. this podcast, I said, okay, I'm gonna talk, we're gonna talk about what I just talked about, what I just read. So let me just do a little research on karma. So I listened to a, a video on YouTube and it was a 12 points about karma, which was very cool. And it was very redeeming for me. I was like, wow, for someone who doesn't study hard, you know, Zen and Buddhism. I really have a good grasp of this stuff. <laughs> I'm not yeah. tooting my own horn. I mean, I'm just, I'm redeemed a lot. Redemption is not the word I'm looking for. I'm like, wow, I don't have to change my mind necessarily or, or, or say, okay, this, that was wrong because I was on target. I was in the right direction anyway. I just have a good instinct for it, okay? All right? I'm not self-aggrandizing. I'm just saying that I have good instincts for Zen. I feel Zen. You know, I realized that life is so paradoxical and that is life is not what we want it to be. Life is what it is, all right? And what we want, we can have in there by learning about what it is. That's, all right? That's how I have a good grasp of Zen, all right? And uh, you I don't think, to, go on. I don't, yeah, I don't think karma is a personal thing. It doesn't operate on such a micro level. It's more macro. It's, um, it's, it's, it was lost in translation from the East. The, the way that we use the word is so. The West, the West does that typically, right? Yeah. <laughs> so much distortion yeah. of Eastern philosophies. 
Um, I mean, I've learned by um, by talking with Hindus and Hare Krishnas and Buddhists, um, people that I believe really practice it. They, uh, that's the 10 minute mark. Okay, very good. Uh, renew it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, you, go on. And all they, it's a simple cause and effect. And you know? I think that's just the, 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 uh, the beginning of it. This video that yeah. I mentioned uh, went into the other, uh, that was number one. But there are 11 mm -hmm. other points, you know, and that it's about energy. And it's not just, and it's, mm -hmm. and it's also about, you know, being bullheaded that, you know, you know, like there's no saying what you, what you resist persists, right? Which is great. Yes. Okay. But how does that apply to karma? Well, what you resist persists. You're building up a confrontational energy for what you're resisting. And that energy is a negative energy. And what do you do with that? You attract more of the same energy, right? This, 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 this stubbornness, this, this uh, unacceptance, right? So it is so much more than that. It is an energy that is indifferent to our wishes. It only, mm -hmm. it's only, it's about, you know, what do we talk a lot about in the Facebook lives about the laws of success, right? Also phys you know, mm -hmm. laws of physics, which, stem from the you know the laws of success stem from the laws of physics you know but they're social laws as opposed to as opposed to laws of science you know and like laws of correspondence laws of expectation that's all part of karma yeah you know it's putting out good intention and good intention comes back to you you know yeah <laughs> like if you kill if you kill somebody by accident and man like say manslaughter with a car the intent is not there I mean, yeah, you're negligent. Well, I think negligence what's, what's is a your think, karma there. What, you, well, what do you think about that? I think if it's willful negligence, then that's the issue. I, I went that to the right. reading. That's the difference. We're, right. listen, we're all deeply infallible. I mean, fallible, not infallible, fallible, right? Yeah. I, was th I was thinking about me for a moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 not. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're all deeply fallible. So we can, we can always, any of us can be negligent at any time, but if we're intentionally negligent, willfully, yeah. that's the difference where we don't disregard what happens from uh, our, our actions. That is bad karma. That's negative that karma. That is, yeah. Because we, Absolutely. We, consideration for others, that's good karma. Right? Yes. So even me, yeah. I, like, you know, Tommy and I are ex-soldiers. When, you know, if we had to, you know, and so I have, we, if we were called to fight and battle and we had to kill, you know, enemy soldiers, you know, obviously it's a horrific thing to do. Uh, and is that bad karma? I don't, I don't think so. I think that it's a, a terrible thing and that soldiers, every person must reconcile with that. But that's the, that's the business of nations, you know. Uh, yeah. They do these terrible things. They, they engage in the most horrible thing which which we call war war is the most horrible thing but it's sometimes necessary uh, uh but it has nothing to do with karma it's just that these awful things have you know life awful things happen in the world <laughs> right everyone is born <laughs> to die and you could easily say that someone's death is an awful thing but it was quite necessary and preordained <laughs> for all of us every yeah. baby that's born is preordained that that precious little creature will be dead <laughs> Yeah. Is that so awful? <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, I mean, in one sense it is. On the other hand, it's completely expected and even you're even indebted uh to to death. You know, I say that yeah. without without being morose. You owe the reaper. That, this is you owe, right? You owe that you you have to pay the grim reaper ultimately because that's the cost of being alive. That's the price of it. <laughs> right absolutely right so, Great. so so these laws are all in effect it, they are indifferent to our feelings about them totally indifferent love them hate them it doesn't matter but i will say about hate if you hate you're going to get more of hate mm -hmm. <laughs> right talking about yes. karma and attraction so it's be good you got to be very mindful of this shit <laughs> what do you very think about mindful. anger anger and frustration you're just attracting more, you think? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's the law of attraction. You know, there's a lot of talk about hoopla. I talk about distortion. You know, there's a lot of misunderstanding and, and distortion about the law of attraction in that it's ridiculed very often. And with, for, good, for good reason. 
But the law of attraction is a very real thing, actually, among all the other laws that are also in effect, all right? So if you want to learn about the law of attraction in terms of success laws, learn about the other laws, too, and not pretend mm-hmm. that the law of attraction is the only one you've got to deal with. And, and, and right. first of all, you better, you better get it right. Law of attraction is not, is, is not the law of want. You want and you get. That's bullshit. There is no such thing mm-hmm. of law of want. Wanting is only the, the first step. <laughs> uh, what is required, the second step. How many steps are required? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's for you to tell me when you've achieved the thing. <laughs> That's yeah. for me to tell you when I've achieved the thing. All right. It's, it's about what you are. That's absolutely right, man. You get yeah. you get more of what you are. More of what you are. You already you already have to be the thing. Yes. See, if you're not the thing and you want the thing, then you must change now. Now is the time that you must change. And then you get more of it. More of it. You know, it's just like uh, like a tar and feather job, either negative, <laughs> right? You, this doesn't get, mean that doesn't mean all you guys out there that want girls don't become a girl. <laughs> Just <laughs> right, uh, right. We're not, we're not talking about that. That's another. Cancel, that's cancel. another podcast. That's not, I really want to do that podcast too. But that's another. <laughs> right. So so uh, karma, is, you know, you can't weaponize karma, and you must be uh, cognizant of how it operates in order to reap its benefits, which is simply quite simply is have good intentions and really celebrate everything, right? You know, and don't strive to have the minimum of amount of negative feelings uh, and desires, uh, including resistance. And, and don't, don't misconstrue, like if you're resisting an evil, that's good, but you know, you're gonna want to get, take a break because the law of attraction is still in effect always if i if i'm resisting evil even as a soldier okay but even otherwise mm. i'm you know and and i have now say i have a bloodthirstiness i'm going to attract mm. more of that oh yeah uh just because a soldier kills in the, na- in the name of his nation that doesn't mean he's immune for a moment to any other laws going on i'm just saying it's not negative karma because he's he's directed to do that by his his, his tribe his nation he's not doing it Personally, I mean, if he mm-hmm. has hate, well, that's something he has. Now, well, karma is an effect. Yeah. Karma is an effect. It's, Karma's yeah, always yeah. an effect. It's never not an effect. There's never a suspension. Oh, oh it's because of a war or anything else. You know, mm. it's never. It's always an effect. You can't direct it. You can't manipulate it. I can't. Right. I can only seek to understand it better. And the better I understand karma, is the better the better I stand the nature of reality. You know. I, if I learn the laws, I can I can better navigate through reality because of the knowledge of the laws and how they work and what they can do, what they do do, and what they don't do. Right? So if I if I'm under a misconception that the laws do one thing, then I will suffer. If I'm under mm-hmm. the understanding that the laws do another thing, then I can benefit. So it's about how many? How many uh, groups of laws are there? There's uh, expectations, laws of attraction, law of. Uh, I tell you, uh, there are there are many. I tell you, uh, a book that I I refer to as if it is a Bible, is the uh, it's a book that you I remember I have that I remember you saw me reading this book about twelve years ago and I okay and I was I read it again this year, and last year I was memorizing it. Uh, okay. Uh, as if it was scripture, right? And it's by Brian Tracer, Brian Tracy, who is my favorite self-help author. It's called The 100 Unbreakable uh, Laws of Business. <laughs> and uh, they, okay. these are, and they, there's different kinds in there. I mean, next time I'll, I'll, I'll uh, refer to the book and we can, there's like, I think he has like eight, there's eight different sections. Eight different sections of laws. So far, I've heard of correspondence, attraction, expectation, and success. So four right there. Well, success is the success is, is not a law. That's just that's a compartment, an area of of law. Okay. Of law. I understand that. Okay. But uh, the other ones are specific laws. Like you know, for example, like you use correspondence is is that uh, you know what 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 is within is what is without without what what you get. Um, without that comes from within you know that, okay. that's that's correspondence for example um 
but they're wonderful things. And they all come from laws of physics, all right? Uh, that, you know, you, come, the, you observe the, the, you know, how, what operates in reality from the primary, and they all stem from the primary law, the daddy law, which is the law of cause and effect, right? That's the, that's, that's, that, that's the daddy law. Well, that's only one of karma, right? But all of it, all, right. all the laws stem from that law of cause and effect. All, all of them. Mark? There are, you know, hundreds of laws. Okay, was that 20 minutes? Yep. Okay, renew it, please. And uh, I will get right. You, you want to uh, read the ta uh, from the Tao Te Ching first, and then I'll read the Sure. Six All right, yeah. so, so as we, uh, we've been doing is, Tommy reads from the uh, Tao Te Ching. Did I say that right? Yes, Tao Te Ching. Tao Te Ching. And we read it every podcast. Uh, uh, and um, today is sex passage number four, right? Four. Passage number four. This, this is a great learning thing for me and anyone interested in this stuff, especially, you know, neophytes and beginners. Here we go. The Tao is like an empty bowl, which in being used can never be filled up. Fathomless. It seems to be the origin of all things. It blunts all sharp uh, edges. It unties all tangles. It harmonizes all lights. It unites the world into one whole, hidden in the deeps, yet it seems to exist forever. I do not know whose child it is. It seems to be the common ancestor of all, the father of things. That's it. Wow, I love that. And that really, that's like a description of my, my prime deity, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> uh, you know, right. Uh, I'm a deist. I'm a, I'm a universalist. I believe, you know, my God doesn't do anyone any special favors ever. He works through the laws. This, that description is about this, ent not an entity, but a way that is quite so wonderful and benevolent, but yet mm. indifferent. You know, if you want to get yeah. unraveled, get go into the way. You're not going to be. It's like a divine order. It's a perfect. That's exactly it. That's so perfectly stated a divine order that is so hard to describe it's mm -hmm. paradoxical right you know you to, to learn it you must learn the obvious learn everything you must learn the opposites uh and it it's it may it may take an entire lifetime to figure it out but in the process things will become clearer and clearer all the time you know, mm -hmm. how, how much cl clarifying do we need? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm a, I don't know. I'm just on this journey along with you. You're on your journey. I'm on mine. You know, we were here collectively, but it's always an individual journey. You know, this is, life is, is an individual journey. And I'm, and it's so complex that we're, you know, if, if we ever think we've got it figured out or, we're enlightened, you know, you're, you're doomed to forget, I think, you know, like you're, I think you're, s spirits can remember more than humans, they say, and humans have What's just forgotten. What, what do you mean? The spirit of the self? The spirit of the soul. Yeah. The soul. I watched this thing about, um, I watched this video of somebody that was channeling a spirit, like a, uh, uh a spiritualist, I guess you could call them. I, I'm actually wearing a shirt with a Ouija board on it. Um, <laughs> that's great, man. Oh, that yeah. Ouija board was a lot of fun. Oh, man. And they say that the spir spirits are misunderstood. They, they actually have a lot of work to do in the spirit world. It's not all fun and games like uh, humans think it is to be a spirit. And um, they're actually still doing a lot of work to grow and heal and learn just like humans are. But humans have forgotten a lot. And it's easier for us to forget, you know, because we exist in a more base plane and in a more tactile reality. So. I, I think that it's just, you know, just a journey. It's a journey and mm -hmm. that we just need to, you know, buckle up, if you will, mm -hmm. that we can better accept the things that we either don't like now or won't like in the future and accept them at some, you know, the sooner the better. 
uh, but it might be quite it might require quite a buckling because it might be so turbulent to use this kind of mm -hmm. thing, all right that it's it will so disturb our preconceived notions or sensibilities that you know it jars us but once we go through it it's then we have a whole new understanding or different levels of greater understanding of our of the of, the, of ourselves our spirits and other spirits and the nature of reality yeah what's the nature of reality i'm figuring it out myself friends you know and yes. I, I will say this the nature of reality is that it ain't what it seems <laughs> yeah that's great right there it ain't what it seems well okay. put okay excellent reading uh uh, uh now the ching number four tommy boston mm -hmm. in the can very good and now I will, I will read from our daily passage from uh, Achieve Your Dreams, right? Guy on a Cliff. Uh, mm -hmm. I did choose that one. Oh, you don't trust me? Okay, I'll put it back in the box. I'll pick another one. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> shuffle it, Tony. Tony, uh, I mean, Tommy, I called, I called. You called, you Tony. called. I called, maybe you're my, maybe you're me and I'm you. You know, there's only two. We're all one. Two. We're all one, bro. We're all one. Listen, Tommy has two M's in the middle. I have just one N in mine. We're very, very similar. Maybe you are me and I'm you. Maybe. Now, now I'm going to try something now. For those watching, you, you can't see this. Uh, but for those watching, you can see this. For those listening, you can't. But in previous Facebook Lives, I asked Tommy to take control of my hand to pick a passage. And he's <laughs> choked me every time. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I, I, I'm gonna to trust him now. And ask Tommy to take control of my hand. I'm going to put it in the box, and he's going to pick the passage. And hopefully he'll behave himself. All right, here we go. He's, he's, I can see he's focusing. He's putting his fingers on his temple. All right, here, here we go. Put it in there. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Subterfuge, you bastard. <laughs> I had to. I he's trying resist. to kill me. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's been selected. There's another one that has stuff written on it on the back to show you how much use I've gotten out of this stuff in 22 years. I got what it's written on the back: right, wrong, lies, excuses, and more letter codes. I don't know what this was. Wow. I love. That's part of my message: getting the use out of things, getting the most of, of what you have. Use what you've got. Yeah. You know? and, you know, it's like I mean, finding an artifact too. Well, that too, right? Okay, so it's a really cool image of uh, some campers. All right, out in these really little cool dome tents, Ooh. out in the prairie or desert. Really, I love it, man. Uh, it's, I think, okay, here we go. You get a better image. There you go. Okay, very good. I love that stuff. I haven't done that in too long. Okay, simply, quote, if you want to succeed and you prepare to do so, you will achieve your dreams. Proper preparation leads to prevents piss poor performance that's right the more that's that's a law the law of preparation the better you prepare the the better the odds of your success your performance it's quite simple and you know and, and uh, that's the law and i really hope it's true because i've been working on something a long time uh and it's it's, it's going to come out soon i'm not going to talk about it now because i don't want to get into that now uh mm -hmm. but it, uh, it, it's something i've been working on for six years over six years is coming out soon and i and i believe for a number of reasons it's going to be very successful not the least of which is my knowledge of the law of preparation that says i should kick ass with this because of this long preparation <laughs> all right yeah. but you and that and that and this this is preparation if you want to succeed and you prepare to do so so prepare what, what does prepare mean it means whatever you gotta learn you learn you gotta you gotta uh, gather resources external resources you gather them you got to gather the right people which you could call resources or if you don't want to do that don't do that you gather them all right you make deals so that everyone is happy right so it's win-win you impre you prepare yourself all right to meet meet the challenge right oh i'm on well i'm not i'm not the confidence well get the confidence motherfucker <laughs> all right <laughs> step up yeah. whatever it is Find it you, somewhere you prepare yourself you prepare yourself whatever it is you got to figure it out and that figuring it out is the first part of the preparation mm -hmm. <laughs> right that's yeah. so preparation i talk about this a lot and this is like this kind of flies in the face and some some zen stuff you know about being in the moment i always talk about you know that's great but 
you got to be in the future too. Okay. Yeah. The moment is where you get to make, make it happen. Absolutely. You can't make it happen any other time, but you must think about the future in order to prepare for it. Right. Or Absolutely. Prepare. What is, what is, what is what you want? What does it require? What is, what's going to have to be done? Who's going to have to do it? What's going to happen if this happens? What's going to happen if that happens? You think about this. You think about it. You plan, you revise. And then of course, when you start going at it, you'll find that there'll be constant revision. Yeah, because it's not going to be how it turns out. <laughs> right? I want to bring up a point real quick too. Please. Like you had mentioned that this may fly in the face of some Zen teachings and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, that's the yeah. thirty-minute mark right there. By the way. Okay, good. We're doing oh. great on time, man. See, this yeah. is we really learned our lesson. We're going to keep it to about thirty minutes. Just we'll, we'll only go. Yeah, so, and um, so it may, some teachings might. Uh, my clash right you say right. all right we're talking about some zen stuff but we're yeah. also talking about success right. but then right. we just need to understand that there's a fun the, the fundamental thing is that it's all about balance we're not all about one thing here you know what i mean right. we're going to talk we're going to be talking about skills and ways of how to be very in the moment mindful and zen and then also how to you know get what you want how to obtain your goals how to be you know progressive and main, maintain positivity all at the same time. I love it, bro. Absolutely. You know, there's a lot to be said about nuance. Okay. A lot mm -hmm. to be said. You know, nuance is an extremely important thing. You know, not hardly everything, 99% of, of, of things in life are not black and white. <laughs> okay. Maybe 1% yeah. is not the, almost all of it is gray. So we have to find the nuance. We have to find the balance as Tommy articulated, right? There's a balance and there's nuances. There's like, okay, here's a, a thing. Well, how many things does the thing have? All right. Yeah. Like, okay, this <laughs> thing has a hundred things. Okay. Well, there's a hundred things to it. All right. And then you can look at, okay, how many things are comprised from the hundred things? <laughs> okay. So, I mean, not to overcomplicate that. You don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. But I'm saying there is nuance and uh, the details are very important. The, the details yeah. got to be tended to by somebody, okay? Because they are they're gonna play out, right? Just because yeah. we don't want we don't we don't want to deal with it, that doesn't mean it's gonna go our way. Matter of fact, Murphy's law is a real law. <laughs> yeah, that's right? what it is. It's yeah. a, it's a real law. All right, things go wrong because that's the nature of reality. Is it doesn't go our way. It goes the way it goes, right? It's learning the laws, how we get to, to benefit, not by um, learning them and disregarding them, <laughs> right? It's learning right. and abiding by them. Okay, uh, great stuff. Great stuff, my man. I think we're coming yeah. here in about 32 minutes, so that's an excellent job. And as our, is, is our, our ritual, we burn the reading. Uh, and the burden to your psyche, you know, symbolically. If you want to succeed and you prepare to do so, you will achieve. Okay, burn it. Burn it into your psyche. Right into the tin. The old Lipton T tin. Uh, who knows how long, how old this is? I love it. It could be, it could be, it could be 40 years old, 50 years old. Wow. And, I, and I, I got my hands on it years ago, and I just managed to hold on to it one way or It another. was on the boat when you got it? Yeah, my original boat, not the boat that I have now. The boat that sunk. Yeah. That, boat, that yeah. boat's name was Smelly. Smelly sunk. Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 23-foot kitty wake. Okay, wow. Tommy. I, I thought it was an excellent podcast. Uh, Me too. I made, Mr. I, uh, President Trump, uh, Hope you hope you get better. Yes, even if, listen if you if you don't like President Trump, if you hate him, <laughs> it's fine. If you Fuck can Trump. wish if you can wish Trump well and still that he be defeated in the election, then you got good karma right there in the moment. Yeah, in the moment at least. Okay, uh, and you, and you benefit yourself. All right, and there's a lot to be said about karma, my friends. And I and I have good intentions for I, I, anyone who listening or watching this podcast. I want the best to happen. And anyone else, anyone who doesn't, fuck them. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you know, I, get That's them. Right. So, get them so they don't suffer suffer too much. <laughs> we'll bring them. In.
<laughs> all right, I'm only kidding. All right, the best to everyone. Man. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Tommy, any closing words? I love you all. Right. Much love to everyone. God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you. Great job, Tommy. Thank you, sir. Yeah.